Um, and a pleasant good morning to y'all guys. Back on the uh, Lincoln Highway here. Check this out. A wooden covered bridge. A tall one. 14.6. I should make this. I should make this. I don't see a weight limit here. So we're going to drive right on to this wooden covered bridge. Wow. I can already smell the wood. Like the old wood built through here. That is actually pretty cool. Actually, that fit just fine. Okay. Well, mark that off my bucket list that I have driven through a wooden bridge in the RV. Let me pull up. I want to look at this a little more. I'm a big geek over this kind of stuff because it really intrigues me to see old wooden structures uh, still working today. And uh, it kind of reminds me of the one that uh, Camper Van Kevin showed me there in Georgia. Except, like I said, you can drive an RV through this one, so that is pretty cool. Along with the little walking trail, we can see the river down there. Actually, there's no cars coming. So let's see what we got here. Even the concrete leading to the bridge is old. And then here's where the wood starts. You can see the nails, kinda, that are constructed inside here. Wow, look at all the hay from all the hay trucks going through here. A lot of history in this bridge right here. Oh, there is a car coming. And like I said, we are back to Lincoln Highway officially here in the city of Morrison. So just inside Illinois, just where I left off from Iowa. So uh, let's have a good day. Whoa, look at Main Street in Morrison. What an interesting little town. This, this is a really cool Main Street, wow. How about right here? We'll go past the fire hydrant. There we go. See, not blocking the fire hydrant and the yellow stops right there. We're good. I cannot begin to tell you how good it feels to be away from a big city once again. I, uh, I like the calmer, more laid back, back road feel, small town America. That's what I like. I'm walking right through Lincoln Highway because I want to show you this uh, cool little mural here with the old garage look and feel and everything. Okay, they got a red light, so now I can show you better. 24 hour service, Lincoln Highway Garage, the gas pumps, that's a cool mural, guys. They do have the Morrison Heritage Museum, and uh, on here it says it's free maps and brochures, Lincoln Highway exhibit. We'll go check it out. Nope, only open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Today's Wednesday. Just a little mini park with trees and shade and Cool city, but uh, let's get back on the road. I want to grab some grub uh, east of here later. I think uh, the state of Illinois is most well known for uh, the home of Lincoln. It's on their license plate, land of, of Lincoln and stuff. But there was another president uh, who spent some time here in Illinois. We are in Dixon, Illinois, and no, it's not President Nixon. It's uh, Ronald Reagan. This is actually his boyhood home, or one of his boyhood homes here in Dixon. Restored pretty much how it looked in 1920. They have a museum in there, which I'm only going to skip because it says uh, photography okay, but no videography. Well, videography is just a bunch of pictures that are all put together, but I'm not going to get into it. And besides, I kind of just don't feel like going into a museum right now. But what's this, a 1919 Model T Ford in the garage right there. They do have a little statue here of uh, Ronald Reagan outside uh, one of the homes. Do you know what's in his hand? So in the plaque below him, it says that Illinois is famous for his production of agricultural products. So it seems only appropriate for him to be an admiring the kernels of corn in his hand. I think that's pretty neat. Uh, not gonna get into politics on my channel. I am just sharing the boyhood physical home of President Ronald Reagan. Uh, <laughs> those of you that need to say nasty things about him or voice an opinion, why? <laughs> like, I'm not gonna get involved with it, but uh, hey, if you wanna start a war in the comments below my video, have at it. Just helps my channel, actually. <laughs> I'm not gonna get involved. Man, look how snazzy the RV looks. That bug shield just, woo! 
looks awesome. I want to repaint the uh, windshield wipers too. I'm going to fix the black on there later, next project. Well, that's cool. Look at this little archway over here. Dixon. The Dixon archway. Neat. Hey, 100% chance of rain today, and I haven't filmed or been outside in the rain once. Just keep missing it. Although, look at those dark, ominous clouds coming. Yeah. There might possibly be something interesting to see over here. I don't know if this is real or not. Okay, that's different. For uh, whatever reason, the city of Dixon has, uh, well, recreated the Berlin Wall, a, se a section of it with, uh, I mean, like, fake graffiti. That's a lot of effort there, actually. It says, if you seek peace, if you seek prosperity for the Soviet Union and the Eastern Europe, if you seek liberalization, come here to this gate. Well, that's different. I'll give you that. Jax, man, you have done really good today. You've been a good little commuter kitty. I'm proud of you, man. Mm-hmm. You want some treats when we get parked? Okay. You want to give me a high five? A low five? Okay. Thanks. I kind of wish I could just uh, boondock right here. This would be a this would be a nice place to uh, spend an evening here. It's uh, a park reservoir. I'll bet there's fish over there. I'll bet there's a lot of fish over there actually. Man, I'm gonna jump in so bad. This is uh, President's Park here. And we have a different kind of Lincoln statue here. That's Lincoln, right? Yeah, it's, it says Lincoln. Mr. Lincoln, for the first time, in full uniform, everybody. Look at that. Carrying his sword. Have not seen one. I mean, it's kind of a casual uniform, but still. Lincoln, 1832. And then I don't know what we have here. There's nothing written on this building. Does that plaque say anything? Nope, it's just empty. Okay, but it's obviously old. You can tell by the wood and the concrete plaster. But what is it and uh, who lived here? We'll never know. It's cool though. You know, it's tempting with the Wendy's and McDonald's and Arby's and all the fast food around here. But no, I'm gonna stick to my attempt to uh, put money back into some of these local communities. But I want to get on the road a little bit farther. Uh, by the way, this was really promising with the chef out front holding the big pizza there. But uh, it's three o'clock on a Wednesday as it is starting to rain and they're closed. Well, it doesn't even say closed. All the doors are locked, so. I, I tried guys, uh, but I can only try so hard sometimes. Well, I'm parked here in the uh, back of McDonald's right now. I'm just gonna wait till the rain stops because it's kind of hit and miss. And then there's uh, one more thing I want to look at here in Rochelle, Illinois. So I'm going to grab my lunch. You want to watch some Netflix and hang out? Sounds good. That's yours. All right, train lovers, this is the mother load. This is a famous intersection of rail tracks here in Rochelle, Illinois. They've actually built a little park construction so that you can look around at what's going on. But when uh, I pulled in, there was a sign that said, uh, no train horns on the part right there. But actually they're like the very next train blew his horn all kinds of ways. So down here, it looks normal. It's just two tracks. But what ends up happening is down here at this end, it is the only quad intersection of railroad in the country where there are literally four different intersections built in one spot. We're gonna go check that out right now. It's a uh, three engine. Play train horn wars, yeah. That's awesome. And it's a double decker. Yeah, so see, they clearly do blow their horns. I don't know when it was that they didn't, but they do now. Look at that. Railroad stamps. There's a Route 66 one there. And of course, one more little reminder that we are obviously on historic Lincoln Highway. Oh yeah. Oh, and don't forget, no train yard would be complete without a little fire pit for the hobos! The hobo train riders! Yeah! 
built right next to the intersection too. They got firewood available if you want to make a fire. <laughs> That's awesome. That's pretty cool. That's probably the best part of this entire day is seeing that quad intersection. What do you guys think? I kind of want to know how they coordinate that because you potentially got eight different trains all meeting in one spot. If you count all eight tracks. That's crazy. Somebody up there is paying attention, just like air, air traffic control. Somebody is monitoring that intersection full time. I guarantee you. And yeah, thankfully the uh, visitor center gift shop was open there and I was able to get a magnet <laughs> from the rail yards. How sweet is that? We'll put that guy right up there. Oh yeah. Well guys, I have decided I am going to boondock and camp in town. There's a Walmart here in Rochelle, so this will give me a nice spot to uh, overnight park and get a fresh start in the morning. So you guys have a good day. See you back on Lincoln Highway from Jackson I. Bye guys. And you know what? I wonder if anyone has ever honked an air horn in an old wooden covered bridge. Oh yeah.